Welcome back, fine people of the internet, to the channel, to the garage, to the F-150, to that beagle right over there. So today's video is uh, long overdue. As you all know, 2018 F-150, partially wrapped. Uh, obviously, original Oxford white from the factory. 3M satin black. We gotta finish this white section and finish off the truck to look uniform, guys. That's what's going on today. Well, I guess see how far we can get with wrapping the doors. Ideally, I'd like to just wrap the front doors, maybe the back, um, but obviously when wrapping doors, I've probably told you this a million times, we gotta pop this off. And uh, maybe the window trims, eh, probably not. Maybe the mirrors, I don't know. But what I do know for a fact, guys, is handles gotta go. Now, in case you're wondering as to why the truck has only been wrapped from the front end and then the rear end, well, the bed, I should say. Well, whatever vehicle you're doing to wrap, the doors are just tough because you know when you have to take apart the door handle, you also kind of need to take apart the door card. Basically, once you've removed the bolts that I showed you earlier, remember there's two tucked in there from the door handle, two at the bottom of the door card, you're able to pry the sucker out like you guys saw. But once you have the door card removed um, from the door itself, you still have some plugs attached to it. You've got the uh, power windows and power locks and then the actual door latch cable itself. The door latch is uh, connected to this and at the bottom of it, this little tab right over here, you want to just keep pulling that downwards because it's going to be attached to your door like this. Pulling that tab down, you can kind of jimmy it out, guys. Obviously, don't pull it from the wires from the connector. Grab the actual connectors themselves to pull it out. All right, folks, sit rep. In there, you will see two 10 millimeter bolts, one right there in front of my camera, and then one right above that, right above the handle itself. You want to get those two removed. After that, you want to pry off the, there's a little plastic cover over here. You can just pry that off and then you'll have access to another 10 millimeter bolt. Now that we have all three of them removed, theoretically, we should Well, guys, we went into the next day, and as you can see, well, you probably can't, but we do have the door somewhat finished, kind of, not really. I still need to do that corner, and then I need to cut off around that edge. I need to remove the piece that's obviously blocking the window. I need to cut off the trim bits right over here. There's still quite a bit left to do to complete this door, but we're nearly there, guys. I forgot to mention, this is the first thing you have to do is pop off this thing. Real easy with a flat head, it's just those tabs. Little, little plastic tabs, no biggie. Very easy to do, then you'll expose the four...
Then the next thing you want to do is plop off the Fomoco, I don't know what this is, nylon plastic. You want to pull this down, not really all the way, but just enough so that you could reach your ratchet uh, somewhere up there. It's kind of hard to see, this camera's gigantic, so you can't really fit it in there, but there's two bolts up in there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So, now that we had all that stuff removed, I went ahead and cleaned up the edges of the door using isopropyl alcohol and a very, very dirty microfiber cloth. Uh, basically to clean up the edges, because you will notice, yeah, it hasn't really been properly cleaned here. But that's what the isopropyl alcohol is for. We went ahead and wiped off all the edges, including the sides over here. And we went ahead and popped off the weather stripping as well. Otherwise, you don't do that guys, you're gonna end up with acne all over your, your doors or whatever your vinyl wrapping, you'll notice it and it's ugly, especially if you're doing black vinyl wrap, so. Here is the sit rep so far. Back door has been completed for the most part. Just regardless, I'm just trying to add my own 0% uh, tint. Look at that, oh my goodness. Anywho, door is done. Everything's been put back together. We tucked all the edges in. Yep, a little bit of acne. I try to remove this thing after everything's already been, after the wrap has already been uh, attached to the door. That was kind of a mistake because while I was trying to remove this, it gets very dirty underneath these trims because uh, you don't normally clean there ever. I was trying to clean that and some of the stuff got on the vinyl and you know, it was just a whole hectic thing. But who gives it hoot guys? As long as the door is completed, it's completely covered in the satin black. All right folks, took me a while, but we have it. F-150, almost complete, <laughs> almost. And here she is, folks. Driver's side door and rear doors have been wrapped. Literally, the only thing left, guys, is the cab itself. And, of course, the roof. I'll get to that a little bit later. But the truck is practically 90% completely wrapped. Um, disregard all this. This is not from the wrap. Uh, that was just a bit of fun that I had a while ago and didn't get a chance to clean it up. Let's go ahead and peep the other side. There we have it. Rear doors have been wrapped. Front doors wrapped as well. It's a little hard to see. I know the truck is pretty filthy, guys, but we are going to take care of that in another video. There you have it. F-150. 90% wrapped. Still got the, the cab and the roof, but we can do that another time.
All right, folks, that is going to do it for vinyl wrapping your doors on an F-150. The doors are pretty simple shapes, no aggressive curves or anything like that. So vinyl wrapping isn't exactly hard. It's all about the prep work, guys. Remember, you got to take off those door handles. You got to pop off that door card. A lot of time consuming stuff, but that is going to do it for the video. Eventually, we'll get to the cab and the roof, but for now, for now, she looks good. Anywho guys, if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. All three of those things at the same time. Support your boy. I'll catch you all on the next one. Not only that guys, I'm going to be throwing out a lot more videos. So, see you all in the next one. Peace. Take care.